to have a look at the Nextone software that's just downloadable from the web. The only thing I would suggest that before you do anything else, you make sure you download the update to the AMP itself as your first step and then do the software on your computer. It's a simple matter of hooking it up with USB. It couldn't be any easier. So the way that this works, the software is set up so that you can look at the clean channel and you also have a lead channel. You have for both of those channels a preamp, a power amp and the effects loop associated with it. So when you save off a setting to the amplifier you can then hold down a button right next to the input. If you hold it down for a second it glows red and that shows you that you're then loading and using the settings that you've created in software. Pretty clever, very very simple to use. Let's have a little bit of a look how this goes together. We'll start off in the clean channel you have options for a boost and the boost gives you quite a selection and as you change the selection around so you get a different set of options that you can adjust. The way that I've gone about this is I've used the preamp in channel EQ here and I've gone for parametric rather than going for graphic. I've just found the parametric quite easy to deal with. My only experience is really from this exercise using the next tone amp. But because it was laid out the way it was, it was really easy to cut a bit out of the mid to put a high cut in to get rid of the feedback. I had a usable amplifier sound that I could work with straight away. Uh, this is in the lead channel, similar set of circumstances. Difference being that if you use the tone button, you get the choice of FAT1, which gives you no levels to adjust, or FAT2. I tried FAT2. As far as the equalizer went, you've got the choice of American, American 2, British or British 2. Power amp itself. This is the 6v6 that I'm running. And again, by hitting the character shape, I'm able to change the gain, give myself some extra headroom, and play around with the mids a little bit. And I've actually pulled back a bit of the gain in the highs and really it's worked amazingly well so feedback is just a non-issue which for a harmonica is pretty well all, almost unheard of. So that gives us our clean and lead channels and on both those channels we have the preamp and the power amp and we also have effects. Over in delay we've got tape echo, analog an SD3000 and again as you change them so do the parameters change you can then change this until you get the kind of sound you're after. When you actually engage a delay on the screen if you look at the amp it actually turns the light on and off the amp. It's very interactive, works nicely. Reverb's pretty amazing as well. That gives you plate, spring and hall and again a different set of parameters to adjust. The way I primarily did it was just played my harp until I could get the tone I was after. Then I just saved them off. I saved them to next tone, which is the amp itself, and also as a user patch onto the software. Um, some of the controls you get in your setting, use the effects loop in the back of the amplifier and do post and preamp, send your levels and return levels. System EQ, which I've completely left alone. Line out as a matter of whether you're recording live or a blender both. I used recording out. USB settings. I found this really interesting. I used the USB straight into the door. Got a great result. If you were just doing a bedroom recording, it would be no problem whatsoever. The version that I was running was version 2.01. It's important that you actually update the amp to the correct version of software. It's just a matter of using the BOSS site to get the sequence that you use to check the software. The main reason that I went for this amplifier in the first place was exactly this, this software. To be able to jump into a preamp and have this much at your fingertips in terms of changing your, your tone is just absolutely amazing. When you go to the power amp, you know, you've got beautiful things here. You can change the bias on the fly, the amount of sag. To give you an idea, when you're playing a harmonica through a valve amp, the reason the valve amp is so brilliant to play through is that you get that absolutely wonderful tone that when you're drawing the relationship between the way the valves react and the tone that you pull out of the amplifier is, is really a relationship between the bias 
pacing of the amp, the choice of valves that you're running through, and the amount of sag, the characteristics that that particular amp gives you. Now, being able to change this sort of amp is just absolutely phenomenal. You could pretty well define any sound that you wanted from an amplifier perspective in this digital space using this software. I've been extremely impressed by it. Anyway, that'll give you a little bit of an idea of how the Boss Next Editor actually works. Yeah.